Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. It's almost New Year's. And so I thought we'd address the idea that people make decisions around this time. Uh, many people call them New Year's resolutions. They're going to resolve to do something differently or be something differently. Let me just adjust that camera a little bit. Yeah, uh, in the coming year. So basically what they're stating is that I want to make this thing happen or I want to be this thing going forward. And, um, and it's, it's sort of a commonplace, uh, it's like a common joke that, you know, you, you forget about your New Year's re resolutions by, by January 2nd. So uh, what's that about? You know, what, 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 what is the, uh, the thing there? And how do we change that around so that we can, can be a little more effective? And um, I'd like to have it uh, maybe talk about it in a little different way than, than is usually discussed and also um, see the how that connects up with our Kung Fu because it's um, uh, I think there, 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 there's a correlation there. So the, uh, the idea of a resolution is sort of your, your wish or the thing you ought to be doing and I ought to be going to the gym more, I ought to lose 20 pounds, or I ought to do so. We have an idea, an ideal that we seek to, to make happen. But it, uh, where it falls apart is the fact that it's, we don't really embrace the idea. We don't really become the thing that we're, we are looking to, to be. And, um, it goes back to the idea of intention. So if we think about it more as a setting and intention than, uh, than making a resolution, because the resolution kind of puts in the opt to category, and an intention says, no, no, I want to do this. So it's, you get to own it a little bit more. And in fact, to the degree that an intention is successful, a lot more. We have to really embrace the, the intention, embrace the, you know, this is what I want. I want to make this thing happen. So an intention is a, a decision that is made, usually conscious, but not necessarily, to implement a certain behavior or uh, have a certain uh, uh, result or a certain action occur. And um, the intention is, it's something that can, learning how to intend, learning how to, to set an intention is something that can be learned and practiced and you can get better at it. An intention is something that you know, we say, I want this thing. I want this thing to happen. I want to do this thing. I want to be this thing. So we say, I'm going to do that. So when we, once we say, I'm going to do that, then we've set an intention. It moves it out of the category of, wouldn't it be nice if this were to happen? Or maybe if I pray hard enough, God will give me lots of money or something like that. So this is, no, this is something that says, I want to make this happen. And there's a, uh, and it can be something as simple as brushing your teeth, making a cup of tea. So anything where you say, you set an intention, you say, I want this to make this happen. Once we do it, once you set the intention, that is, that is the command coming from the, from the king, from the, from the queen, from the, from the ruler of, of the system says, make this happen. And then it goes into the category of what the Chinese call zhir, Z-H-I. And zhir is, is translated as will. So you're, that is where we implement the intention. So the intention plants the seed 
but Dirt actually makes it makes it happen, brings it into being. So will in this case, you could define it as doing the thing that you said you're going to do. And so this in, in Chinese medicine and in, in, in Taoist philosophy, the jur is what unites the jing or the, the body's uh, uh, juices and, and, and energies, unites that with the shen or the spirit. The, the, so to creating and what, so another way of talking about it is what uh, my favorite is, which is body, mind, spirit integration. It's not until we have that, that intention and then the, 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 the decision to do something, the intention, and then the actual implementation, the executive function that we can bring all our parts together into a state of coherence. If it's something like as simple as I point my index finger and feel it, I am placing an intention there to do that, but I still have to make that happen. And to the degree that I can focus on that and, and implement that, it determines largely my success in implement and in, in getting the result that I want to get. So the intentions are largely conscious, but we also have made millions of decisions in our lives, which are locked into the pre-conscious. They are stuff that we've just, we do. I mean, you know, which step you, which foot you step on the, on the stairs first. The, uh, um, you know, Rick was mentioning, you know, uh, 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 typing with his right, right index finger and leaning to the left side. That's a pattern. That's a decision that was made and implemented and it's become part of a pre-conscious pattern that, uh, that we have lots and lots of these. So what we're trying to do with our Kung Fu is make the pre-conscious conscious. We observe ourselves doing these things. We say, oh, that's a, that's a pattern. Oh, I do that thing. Oh, I, I list to the, to the left. Okay, well, I would not like to list to the left. I would like to get more into central equilibrium. That is a decision. That is an intention. But to actually do it, to actually make it happen, that's jur. And jur is um, in Chinese medicine, Chinese and, and Taoist philosophy. It's it's connected with your kidney jing. That is your you know the, the real essence of your life force. And if you are indecisive, you're kind of equivocal about things. That indicates you know, a weakness in your kidney jing, and you want to uh, crank that up because the weakness there it's also reflective of your your life force, your ability just to, to keep, keep going. So being able to train your will and train your intention is a, a large part of what we're doing in, in our Kung Fu. And even if we're say doing something, even to say I'm, I'm going to sit and, and meditate, okay? I'm gonna sit and meditate for five minutes. I'm still using my intention to place myself in that position. And I'm also using my will to execute my meditation in the way that I know will bring results. And that means that I'm not gonna sit and fidget and scratch and, and look around and stuff like that. I'm using my will to hmm, calm my stuff down and use that. So even whenever I'm moving in something as, as passive as a sitting meditation, there is still an active intention and an active chur that is making that happen. And if you, and if you intend to, uh, to meditate for a long time, say, that requires a lot of will. That requires, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick to this. If you're going to say, sit there for an hour, you know, a lot of people can't do that. They don't have the 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 drive, the 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 intensity to be able to make that happen, to be able to overcome all the impulses to get up and run. So, in when we're talking about our kung fu, 
this is a perfect training ground for learning intention and will. Learning how to place, make a decision, place an idea into the body mind so that we are seeking to create a certain result. We are creating, be it a, a body shape, an energy flow, a, um, a beautiful form, whatever, whatever it is we're, we're trying to do with that. We are establishing first a decision to make, I want this thing to happen. And then the juror part, the will comes in and says, okay, what do I have to do to make this happen? And if you start to kind of er, veer off the uh, off the road, then you have the will that says, no, no, let's get back in your lane, dude. And uh, and you, you keep moving. So let's um, let's do a little meditation that um, this one will be a, a moving meditation that focuses on these two things. So we're going to really isolate our intention and our will and to uh, to really kind of get a, a, a grip on what that means because once you understand what it is and are able to to make it work for you it becomes it becomes easier and easier so that it doesn't require a lot of ramp up in order to make that happen like all this stuff it just it is a learned ability okay so once you stand up Okay, we're going to begin, as we usually do, by getting our three pillars established. And this is a perfect place to start to get our intention. Because when I say to feel the balls of your feet, The intention has to be there, but also the execution. We have to feel the balls of your feet. And that means directing your mind to bring that into focus, that part of your nervous system that feels that part of your body. And that means that you're gonna tone down your conscious awareness of other parts of your body as you do this. It's still happening at a pre-conscious level. And once we establish this, it will happen also at a superconscious level. But first we need to bypass our normal conscious mind's thinky-thinky action and really focus on that feeling to actually feel into the balls of the feet. Feel into the rest of your foot as well. Feel your heels. Press down with your toes and feel them touching the floor as well. Feel the weight spreading throughout the foot, but really focusing on the balls of your feet. And notice that you can maintain your awareness there for longer than a moment. There's a, a certain length of time where you can maintain your awareness at, on the balls of your feet by feeling it. And this is jerk. You are using your will to say, okay, brain, I know you want to go and roam free and think all kinds of wild and crazy thoughts. But right now, we're going to calm that stuff down and just feel the balls of the feet. Now, unlock the knees. 
and go back and feel again the balls of your feet. So since you unlock the knees, you want to make sure that you're still feeling them. Reach with the crown of your head. It means you're extending the, 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 the hair whirl, the, the posterior fontanelle reaching upward with that and drop the chin. Slightly pull it, withdraw it, pull it in so that you're actually feeling the jade pillow gate opening up. So here again, we're using our intention. And now we're including both. We're using our intention to include both the balls of our feet and the crown of the head, or the, uh, yeah, the crown of the head. And now we're feeling also the jade pillow gates. We're starting to expand awareness, including all these things. And this requires some practice. This requires will in order to make that happen. The beautiful thing about this is there's no time limit on it. You can do it for a little or a lot, whatever you like. Right now, we're just kind of taking a real slow stroll through these things so that we have, we can really isolate that will part, that, that, that intention to sustain. Now relax your lower back, drop your sacrum, allowing your pelvis to level out, your lower back to flatten a bit. We're able to feel the balls of the feet, the crown of the head, the jade pillow gate, Feel these, the coccyx, the tailbone. Feel all those things at once because we're now moving into a super conscious state. So we're not limited by the narrow bandwidth of the conscious mind now. We can hold many things in our awareness at the same time without thinking about them. Push away from the earth and then sink down, spiral down to the left, turn to the right, releasing the hip joints, releasing the claw, getting yourself settling down into the feet. So we're feeling that loosening, softening of the hips. The butt gets very, very relaxed. The legs take over the work, but in a passive way, they're in a supporting way. Reach with your elbows slightly, just enough to open up the shoulder joints, really relax the shoulders. When reach with your index fingers, feel the energetic coherence. And part of the will in this is also the willingness to suspend your rational mind and trust this alternate form of knowing, this alternate form of awareness. Feel into your hands and notice the energy there.
being able to maintain this posture and stillness and feel the motion in stillness requires intention, requires, sure, your willingness to make it happen, continue, and to relax into that. So what we're doing is we're removing, removing the counter intentions, the other intentions that are saying to do something different. Like, I really want to sit down now, or um, can we just move around, or can I move my arms, or whatever. These are other intentions that your body mind may present to you as alternates to just being able to stand here and stand here quietly in this posture and feel the energy. So this being able to control your mind and control your body to this degree is a major step in your Kung Fu. Feel the system, the whole body mind loading up with chi. You're opening the, the gates in your feet and in the crown of your head to access the yang chi of the heavens, the yin chi of the earth. And you're filling up with nature chi, restoring, replenishing. It's also an opportunity to examine what's what you're holding tight unnecessarily. Get yourself in communication with whatever that is. And say, okay, body, what do you need here? So anytime we're holding something tight, that's an execution of a pre-conscious intention. And it's usually doing, it's something your body mind is, thinks it's doing to protect you. It's an old pattern that uh, worked at some point in the past. And whenever things get stressed a little bit, that's where it wants to go. And now step in, the left foot. And feel the difference in the energy to the balls of the feet, set, you want to unlock the knees. Find your three pillars in this, in this stance. So use your intention in your jur to feel the balls of your feet, release the knees, reach with the crown of the head, tuck in the chin, open the jade pillow gate, relax your lower back, reach with your elbows, stretch with your fingers, release the qua. Feel each of these things and sustain them. Okay, now we're going to do a little um, little exercise, little movement. This is from uh, the Wu Dong Mountain Tai Yi Wuxing Chen. I'm just gonna do a few movements of it, but just for the um, for the opportunity to practice these things. And I'll feel the ball of your right foot. Set your right knee and spiral down to the left. You're loading up the right claw, you're releasing down, settling into that. And turn to the right. Really allowing all your weight to settle into that right leg. Pick up the left heel. 
and sink a little more. Just you want to release down and step out. Empty step with the left foot. Feel the ball of the left foot. Set the left knee. Spiral down to the right. Sink into that. Feel what that feels like. So you're using your intention now to say, I'm going to hold this position here where I'm primarily in my left leg and feeling the energy and notice that the energy is slightly different than the other energy where you just came from. And your ability to hold that posture and really feel into it. This is again, we're exercising our intention and our will. Now turn, pivot on your right heel, come back to center. Now feel into the wholeness. Now empty out and just let everything go yourself sinking into it and moving more toward a nothing than a something. Just really release. And in doing this, we're moving towards the Wu Chi, the emptiness without form. And just the ability to occupy that emptiness is its own exercise. Bow forward. Yeah. Carry. Feel the weight of your arms. Feel the weight of the space pressing down in your hands. Bring your hands up to chest height. Arms are rounded. Reach with your elbows. Reach for the crown. Feel that state of wholeness, fullness. So we've gone from the emptiness to the fullness. We've gone from the Wuji to now we're in the Taiji. This is this is the undifferentiated wholeness. Feel the difference in the energy between those two. Sink. As you do that, rotate your forearm so the palm stays forward. Feel yourself expanding outward without moving. Feel like a big balloon pushing out on your arms, pressing outward. At the same time, the arms are containing that balloon. So we've gone from the Tai Chi, the Yin Tai Chi, which is which abides to the young Taiji, which is expansion. It's a sense of a wholeness, but there's, there's a young impulse, an impulse to expand. It's sort of like, like the Big Bang. Now slowly separate 
into the yin and the yang. Reach with your elbows as you pull. Feel the poles in opposition as you move toward that separation. You're separating the yin and the yang. Feel that intention to separate. You're overriding that intention to unify. This is what generates chi, generates energy. That separation, separating, holding the poles in opposition. And begin to spiral. You're circling with the right hand, circling with the left hand. Your body moves with that. Feel those spirals moving throughout your whole body mind. Reaching outward. Feel the different energy that is created by this motion. You'll feel the ball of your left foot set the left knee and spiral down to the left. And as you do so, the right hand comes down. Bring your right foot in. You're reaching out with the left hand. Right hand comes up, feel, feel the two hands in opposition there, feel them separate. Step with the right foot. Feel the ball of the right foot and push the right knee out, set that and spiral down to the left. You're in the right claw and reach with the elbow. Rotate the forearm. Left hand is coming down as you turn. And you're reaching out. And your eyes follow your hand. Right hand is the yang hand. The left hand is yin in this situation. Feel the energetic connection between the two. Now feel the ball of the pivot on your left heel. Feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee and spiral down to the right. Reach with the left elbow. The left hand is now becoming yang. The right hand is yin. And you're reaching with the left hand. Feel the energy of that. Notice it's different. using your intention to create this form and your will to sustain it. Pivot on your right heel. Right ball, set the right knee. Sink into the right claw, reach with the right elbow and right hand comes up. Left hand reaches down. Right hand is now young. To the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the right and step in with the left foot. Find your center equilibrium.
Feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the right. Step with the left foot. Left ball, set the left knee, spiral down to the right. Reach with the left elbow. Reach with the left wrist. Turn. Left hand is yang, right hand is yin. Sinking into that left claw. Feel the ball or pivot on your right heel. Right ball, set the right knee. Barrel down to the left. Reach with the right elbow. And turn. Left ball, set the left knee. Spiral down to the right. Reach with the left elbow. Feel that left elbow. Feel the right elbow. Feel them reaching in different directions. Sink. And reach with the wrist. Bring your arms down and step in. And pause and feel the energy now. The energy of doing nothing but just standing there. Take a deep breath. And as you press down, disappear the energy, dissolve into the emptiness. Turning back to the Wuji. Please take a seat. Mm. You're coming through now, Jonathan. You're on mute though. You're on mute. You're still, oh, there you are. Okay, start over again. Am I frozen, am I good? You're good. I'm good, okay. See how long it lasts. Cool. Rick. Flying through eternity. Even though, <laughs> e even though I, I got confused at the end in terms of left and right, the power flowing through me was, set a new, a new record for the year. Which is pretty, <laughs> it's been a good year, too. <laughs> yeah, considering, considering that we only have a couple of days left, it was, it, was very, it was a very wise decision, I believe, on your part. Uh, that, yeah. 
pretty, pretty potent. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you thank for, you. for, thank for you. <laughs> taking the ride with me. That was, uh, <laughs> that was, that was some super stuff. Yeah. Cool. We Rick's got to stick together. <laughs> Scott. So, um, through a good portion of that, my neck was just like, just kind of screaming at me and I trying to talk to it, trying to release, trying to let go. And it was, I couldn't get, it wasn't, I couldn't figure out what was going on, but about three quarters of the way through it finally, it finally stopped. It finally, something finally kicked in and it stopped yelling at me. And <laughs> <laughs> I, it, it was a little what frustrating. What are you doing to me? <laughs> all different things and i couldn't figure out what was where the cult was it definitely wasn't it was definitely not in the shoulders it was somewhere else but I couldn't quite figure it out but i keep working on it did it, did anybody else feel like they were submerged in something between like water and and a, a thick like mercury i kind of still do oh there you go yeah yeah once we we start to get very insubstantial, then space itself takes on a substantiality. Mm -hmm. and oh. my, hand, my hands are still coursing with energy. Wonderful. Yeah. Mm, nice. <laughs> usually, usually when I have this much chi, my feet kind of get cement-like and stick to the floor. But this, I was floating this time, so there was nothing for them to stick with. It was just like flying. Beautiful. Very, very nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now this this form is amazing. Um, you know that that's like you know one, you know twentieth of it, but it's. Uh, um, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know. It, it's it, it's it's a powerful form, you know. It's a, it's a Wudong Mountain Tai E. So the Tai G is you know is, is uh, the Tai E is the big mind, you know. So so wow. that uh, so it's uh, it's 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 a potent potent exercise. Yeah. Happy New Year to us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and anybody else who happens to tune in on the YouTube and actually does it. <laughs> that's, that's the hard part, actually doing the, uh, doing it. Cause that's one thing to just look at it. Another thing to actually go through. Cause if you, you're just watching, it's like, it, it you don't get, it, it's hard to get it. You know, I, it's impossible to get it. You need to, you need to actually do it. They may not get the palm dancing aspect that each hand is connected, no matter how far or wherever they're going. Or whatever direction. It's a, this is a very good form for that. So it doesn't yeah. matter where we're going. Each, you know, they're, they're yeah, directly they're, in communication. Right. They're all connected by energy. It doesn't matter where they are. They're just the energy is flowing through them. Yeah. Really, really awesome. Cool. I'm very mellow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Festivus miracle in itself. Yay! <laughs> Scott, your neck do the streaming. Valerie, your neck just chill. <laughs> Beautiful. Happy, happy New Year, you guys. You too. Yeah, happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.